While more cases of COVID-19 are expected to be confirmed throughout the country and world, the risk of getting it remains low in central Indiana. But Cornelius Hawker has been working to figure out what you and your family should know if it does begin to spread here. Cornelius, a big concern for a lot of people here. It definitely is, Amanda, but health officials do not want anyone panicking about getting the coronavirus. And for that matter, we don't want anyone panicking as well. But it is important that you know what to do if you notice some symptoms. Now keep in mind, some of those symptoms of the coronavirus include fever and a cough, and those are similar to the flu. The CDC says that you should stay home, don't go to school, work, or anywhere out in public unless you're going to a medical care facility. And that man who went there to, to, to the community north last night, he actually contacted them, and that's what they want you to do if you're going to go seek medical care. And if you know you've been exposed to a confirmed case of COVID-19, you should call ahead so the hospital, doctor's offices, or clinic can take the necessary precautions. Now, while you're home, you should avoid other people in your house and even your pets because scientists are still learning about this strain of coronavirus, COVID-19. Now, wear a face mask, cover your coughs and sneezes, and this can't be stressed enough. Wash your hands, wash your hands. The CDC also recommends not sharing bowls, cups, spoons, forks, etc. And they want to make sure you're cleaning high-touch areas like doorknobs, light fixtures, phones, and iPads. Okay, so there's a lot of talk going around about this. So if someone wants to get tested because they think they might have COVID-19, how much is that going to cost them? And see, this is where it gets a little tricky. Insurance companies like Cigna and Anthem say they're going to waive all costs associated with testing for the virus. And President Trump did just sign an $8.3 billion coronavirus funding bill into law. And while portions of that money will be going to state and local health departments for in creating vaccines and treatments, along with helping international efforts, there are still questions about how much money, if any, will go to reimburse hospitals or patients for medical care associated with testing and treatment, especially for the estimated 70 million Americans who don't have insurance. And Amanda, this situation, as you've heard right before the special with mm -hmm. ABC, and you know, it's just an evolving situation. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be watching it. Um, and yeah, listen to health officials, and we'll be giving you what they um, tell us yeah, to tell Cornelius, you. Yeah, Cornelius, a lot of moving parts here. Definitely. All right, thank you for that, Cornelius.